Hi there, my name is Sam, one of the founders of Instant, and in this course we're going to master Shopify sections. I will guide you through building a section like this, explain how to work with Shopify content, meta fields, and publish it to your store. I'll also cover how to use this section across multiple pages, tweak content in the team editor, work with app blocks, and navigate Shopify markets. So let's dive in. Here we are in the instant builder and let's recreate this section right here. We go to layouts and then we click on the plus icon under sections and then we can choose to build from scratch or start with a template. For this course, we're gonna start with a template. Then within the template library, we click on the industry, beauty and cosmetics and then we scroll down and we scroll down even more and then we select this section right here and add it to our project. Now that this section has been added to our project, we can start to customize it. So the first thing I want to do is connect this entire section to one of my products in my Shopify store. And I do that by clicking on Shopify content and then selecting the right product from my Shopify store, which in this case is the nail polish product. I click on select and nothing really changes. The only thing that has changed is that the outline of this section and all the other elements is now green. And the green line indicates that we're working with Shopify content. So now let's actually do something with that. We can select the image right here. We go down to content and then we can change this from static to dynamic. And if you click on dynamic, it will showcase the content coming from Shopify. In this case, the product image for the nail polish product. So let's click on dynamic. And here we have it, the nail polish product image coming from Shopify. Let's do the same thing to this product description. We go down and change this from static to dynamic content by clicking on this icon right here. And then we can select the product description and it now showcases the product description from this specific product. Then I wanna create a bit more space between this image and the product description. So let's select the image, go to spacing and add 20 pixels of spacing around to the bottom. Then let's change some of the colors of this section. So we go down to the style, then fill color and change it to this brand color right here. Then we can also change this image in this case to another static image that I've uploaded to instant, which is this nail polish image right here. And then for this button, let's delete the price text element and then change the color to this branded color. Next up, I want to work with the app island element. So under the insert panel and embed, we can find the app island element. And the app island element enables us to later on when we publish this section to our Shopify store, integrate with any Shopify app block that is available. So let's drag and drop this app island element in between the product image and the product description. It's now visible, but nothing really is happening. Also, when we preview, it's not even visible. The reason for this is that it's only editable from within the Shopify team editor, which I will show later on when we publish this section to our Shopify store. For now, I want to create a bit more space in between the app island element and the product description. So let's select the app island element, go to spacing around and add 20 pixels worth of spacing to the bottom. And there we have it. Then I also wanna change the text of the ticker to say nail polish, so it reflects the connected product. Now let's preview again. And then the ticker actually moves quite fast in my opinion. And I also want to create a bit more space between the different words. So the ticker element is selected in the layer panel. We go to the ticker settings. We change the gap to increase the space when the word repeats itself. Let's change this to 50 and then reduce the speed to 25. We preview again, and this looks way, way better. Next up, before we publish this section, I wanna check the responsiveness. So on desktop, it looks pretty, pretty good. Then we go to the laptop viewport, and here I want to make a change to the position of this ticker element. So right now it's positioned absolute. And the reason for that is that we don't want the position of this ticker element to interfere with the position of other elements within this section. If we would want that to happen, we would change the position to relative, but I don't want it to happen, so absolute is fine. But it's now positioned 112 pixels from the top, but this is a bit too much. So let's change that to 
60 or maybe even 70 this looks way better let's go to tablet this doesn't look good anymore let's add 120 or 110 then we go back to mobile and let's change this to 55 this already looks way way better let's preview and this all looks really really nice so the last thing we need to do before we publish this section is actually give this section a name so it's easy to find within shopify when we publish it so under layouts we can go into the settings of this specific section so let's click on section settings and then give this section a name in this case let's call it tutorial and now we're ready to publish so let's click on publish and here we are in the shopify team editor on the home page to be specific and on the left we can add a section so let's click on it and then search for the section we've just built which is called tutorial and here we have it the section we've just built an instant is now in our shopify store and it's also nice and responsive just as we've built it within instant the beauty of our sections is that all the content within this specific section is adjustable from within the shopify team editor we can change the product we can change any text element and also the image we can see right here we're going to change this content later for now i want to explain how to work with the app island element because we've dragged and dropped this element into this section within instant right now in shopify we can add a block and if we click on it we can add blocks that we have built and we can also work with shopify app blocks so any third-party shopify app that works with the shopify app blocks can now be integrated within your section so for example the judge me star rating let's click on it then we select the right product which is the nail polish product and as you can see it now showcases the star rating coming from judge me and that's how you can work with app blocks for now this looks fine so it's saved and now i want to showcase how you can add this same section but reuse it on a different page and then change the content so it's saved on the home page now let's go to a different page pages and then click on the default page and then again we can click on add section on the left in the shopify team editor search for tutorial and we add the section again and now i want to change the actual product that's connected to this specific section so let's click on change click on change product and then we select the lip gloss product and all the fields that were dynamic with an instant have now automatically been adjusted to this specific product which is the image and the product description next up we can also change the image so let's click on explore free images look for a lip gloss image and then we can add this image to this section and let's also change the text in a ticker to reflect this product better and type lip gloss and that's how you can create one section with an instant and then reuse it across multiple different pages and adjust the content on the specific page next up i want to showcase how our sections integrate with shopify markets so let's go back to the home page and right now we're editing the default home page but let's say in our us store we don't want the cta to be add to back but we want people to be able to view the collection from this specific section so we can do that by selecting in the united states market then scrolling down to this section we select this section and then we can change the text that's visible within this button so we can say view collection then we click on save and right now if we go back to the default store this section will still say add to back then we go to the united states store and then it says view collection and that's essentially how our sections integrate with the shopify market features you can edit all the content within and adjust the content based upon the different markets you have on your shopify store and that's it for this course on sections so i hope you have a good understanding on how to work with sections create them in instant and publish them to shopify how they integrate with shopify markets how you can change the content and reuse them across multiple different pages so thanks for watching and good luck